So hot off the press, we have two brand new products from Native Instruments. We have a classic house machine expansion, and then we also have brand new play series instrument called Feel It, which is for the classic US house tones from the 90s that gives us sublime keys, chords, bass, and strings direct from the dance floor. It says these are adaptable presets, including classic pianos, organs, stabs, basses, and soulful pads. All sounds faithfully sampled from House's most iconic synths. It says from transcendent chords to pulsating basses, channel authentic 90s house vibes, or create a new blend for a future facing club sound. Feel it goes deep with thoughtful, curated sound sources sampled from genre defining machines and the finest studio grade effects. Get House's ubiquitous bass sounds and must have piano and organ synth presets plus atmospheric textures and pads, customize the effects chain, edit genre, typical sequences, and mix it up with hands-on macro controls. It says Feel It was created in collaboration with multi-instrumentalist and sound engineer Alex Kidd. And right now with both of these, the Feel It Play Series instrument and the Classic House Higher Place Machine Expansion, if you pick up both right now, they're 25% off discounted if you get them as a combo or if you get one or the other their respective cost is $49 each. I always like when Native Instruments puts out something in combination kind of like they did with Young Phantom for the drill machine expansion and the Deflines play series instrument. It's always kind of cool when they provide an instrument that goes along with the machine expansion. I really like that. So let's go ahead and just jump over to machine now and start to take a look at both the machine expansion and the play series instrument feel it. So let's just jump right in and start to preview some of these kits. Definitely 90s house. <laughs> Classic kit. Ooh, I love those tonal toms. This one kind of reminds me of uh, Motherboard or the District Zio. some congas on that one. That sounds like a retail store kind of house track. Nice little trumpet in there. It's a nice jazzy little kit. Nice deeper tones. That's a different vibe. I like that sound. Classic 90s 
classic piano stabs. The bass kit here. Another good bass, I like that sound. More piano. Really like those house bases. Get here. Okay, so that's higher place machine expansion. I'm just gonna go and engage the favorites here and we can just start to take a look at some of these machine kits. Now I'm gonna admit that I really don't make house music myself. I've never really attempted it, but it's definitely kind of a cool sound and something worth just exploring and having fun with. And then also too, we can take a look at the Feel It Play series instrument that goes with the higher place machine expansion. So we can kind of look at these side by side and let's just go run through some of the previews for these instrument sounds. It's one of those house bases. That's a cool sound. Classic house sound. Nice pad. <laughs> that is a goofy trumpet. <laughs> Interesting. has a lot of texture. That's interesting, has a lot of attack time. Ooh, nice donk bass. I like that sequence, that's cool. I like that some of these sounds are kind of a mix between like a lead, but also kind of a warbly synth pad too. Nice plucky sound. Thank you. 
Classic house piano, might as well favor that. <laughs> That's cool, it sounds like it's underwater. Ooh, that's a cool percussion kind of sound. Dang, it's a nice deep bass. that LFO action. It's a cool preset name too, Skywalker. Okay, so that's all the presets. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the favorites here so we get this list pulled up. And then if we go back to our machine expansions, we have all the favorited kits pulled up as well. So let's kind of dig into this and make something out of it. Like I said, I am not a house music maker, but I can already tell there is plenty of worthwhile sounds to explore no matter what kind of genre I'm making or I'm into. And the beauty of having different genres is there is a different sonic perspective with each musical genre that you can apply across the board to various different genres and give your genre whatever kind of music you're making, even if you have no target focus, a different perspective, different outlook, and just kind of make things interesting, add some flavor to it. Because music is all about making something sound interesting to the listener, whether that listener is yourself or your audience or somebody else. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move over to my Machine Plus here that is connected to Machine as a USB controller. For the longest time, I actually used a Machine MK3, but now that I have a Machine Plus, it's great for standalone, but it's also really nice to use it as a USB controller because these encoders have such a nice quality weight and resistance to them when you're turning them whether you're using them for macros or changing your parameters it just feels a lot nicer to me than the mk3 so it's an overall more solid experience and build when making music i just love the machine plus okay so i'm going to jump into the browser here and go to higher place it's already on it got all of my kits favorited and we're just going to go through the list one by one and when i find something that i like i'm going to go ahead and engage it I'm probably not going to use any of the built-in patterns for this because, like I said, I'm not a house music maker. But I can make something out of this that's completely different and break the rules of whatever classification this is for a style of music and just make something for myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to surf through some of these machine kits. Yeah, like I said before, I love those tonal toms in there. Let's go ahead and load up this kit here. 
turn on fixed velocity. There's those tonal toms. Love that. Oh, there's so there's six of them. Man, I love this kit. Let's go ahead and add a couple more. Love the choppy sense in that one. This one's really fun too. Going down kit. Maybe one more. load up the rocky kit as the third kit okay so let's figure out where we want to start that's a nice cut there's that bass maybe i'll start there let's try these different kicks it's nice too I think I'm gonna use that kick and then I'm gonna go over to step mode and just engage a four on the floor beat and we can move over one and make this an eight bar loop and let's just play that back and just start to play with something yeah I like that bass from the Rocky kit so I'm gonna use that and what key do I want to be in let's try let's do G Make this major pentatonic. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now I can go ahead and press shift and pad five to quantize my beat. And then another cool feature if you're not aware of with the machine is you can actually press on settings and then go over one. Then you can change your quantize mode to be either record where it will quantize as you record, or you can even have it quantize as you're playing in your idea. And then as it's quantizing it as you play, it also locks it into the grid when it's recorded to the pattern sequencer, which is a super useful function. And I kind of use this all the time. It's a great way to keep your performances on the grid if you're a person that really likes to keep that groove locked to perfect timing, which a lot of times I do. Okay, so now that we have a kick drum pattern laid out and we have a bass pattern, I'm gonna switch over to group D and we're gonna look at the Feel It Play Series instrument and go through some of these presets I favorited and start to work on an idea. Let's try Blip Finger, it's kind of a cool name. And then if I engage keyboard mode, you can see that it retained my, my key lock control that I place on the bass, which is G major pentatonic, and it applied it to this instrument, which is really cool. I don't have to go in and change it up for every instrument. It just saves that and it applies it across the board for your instruments. Really useful and really convenient about using machine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the level for this instrument. And you know what, I'm deciding I don't like that preset for this sound, so I'm gonna try something else. Maybe this. Yeah, 
Now, the thing I'm noticing with that bass is it seems like there might be an interval applied to it, which is making it sound out of key with some of these other presets, so I might have to change it. Okay, so there's two ways to go about it when something sounds out of key. You can always load up something on your master, like Antares Auto Key 2, and what Auto Key 2 will help you do is find the key of your project, whatever your idea is. Now, the thing is, this works a lot of the time, but sometimes it doesn't if your sample that you started with has a different root. And that's the case with this one. Jumping back over to group C, if we go to the bass pad, and then go back into keyboard mode, even though we are in G major pentatonic, this isn't in fact true because the root note of our key is actually D. It says organ D Rocky. So even though we've key locked to the key of G major pentatonic, a root note is what's actually messing that up and changing it. So with whatever instrument preset that I choose to put on top of this bass line, I need to make sure that it's in D major. So if I go back to group D, we can change this over and I've already done it. It's D major pentatonic. And then when I play this back, it's gonna sound more like it fits this bass. So it sounds like it's actually working now. And what I wanna do is just change this preset cause I'm not super thrilled about that one for this idea. Try filter smasher. Might need to turn this down in the mixer too a little bit. It's pretty cool, but we can also try some other presets. Go to pad two here and load up a different preset. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that works. Let's go ahead and record that in. And I went a little bit longer than I wanted to do. So what I'll do is I'll step undo and change this pattern to be only four bars long. And let's hear it back. Yeah, I like that. And then also to keep in mind that even though this preset sounds like this, there's a ton of onboard effects that come with the Play Series instrument. Feel it in all the Play Series instruments, in fact. So if I just press the plug in button here, you can see that we have all of our macros lined up across the top of the machine here. And then if we click the arrows, we can see we have different options for the sequencer, pitch, but there's already some preset macros for filter, bite, release, to make it sound more dubby or add reverb. Let's just go and play around and see what this sounds like. So if I stop that and we go into the plugin inside of Machine, I'm just gonna drag this over here a little bit. We can also go to the effects page and add whatever effects that we want and change things up. So I'm not hearing as much feedback with the delay that I want to hear. So what I'm gonna do is just turn up the feedback amount here. Maybe change the timing. Or if we find that we really don't even like that preset, we can take that performance that we made and just switch it out with a different preset. Let's try this one. That one's not bad. Let's go to the plug-in button and mess with some of these settings.
these pops of sound that I'm hearing from the feedback and delay time. Now if I want to add something else to this for another effect on it, I can go to Shift and Plugin and then use the 4D encoder and just add something on top of it. You could always add like a beat delay here. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool actually. I like that. Maybe even put a maximizer on it to bring up the overall. Change the depth. Sometimes I just feel like the maximizer in machine just kind of brings a cohesiveness to a sound and compresses it in a way so that it's more level and less dynamic. Sometimes I like things to sound less dynamic. All right, let's focus more on these drums. Let's get out of the fillet play series instrument and let's just explore some of these kits with the other sounds that we have. Change the relative volume. Yep, love those tonal toms. So I'm gonna add something in here with that. Maybe even use the note repeat function for this part. Let's record it in. sounds good. So let's go ahead and choose one of the snares from one of these kits and go back into step mode to lay down a snare part. So I'm just going to jump between these here and see what snare I like best. Turn off the note repeat. Raise the volume on it. And this one. Let's hear what these all sound like. So I think I like kit A and B's snare the best out of all three of these. I really like on kit B that clap going down has that nice reverb sound to it. Really opens up the space for this idea because the idea itself has more of an isolated warm sound to it, not much reverb on it other than the space that we've added using the beat delay. So let's maybe drop in the snare from kit B with a reverb and do it with the step performance. Like I'm going to go to step mode here and then just place kicks on these parts and let's hear what it sounds like. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Now, if we wanted to double this pattern, we can just press double and then we can add a turnaround part at the end. Let's work on that. So at the ending part there, I'm gonna add maybe a couple more claps at the end. I like that, that sounds better to me. So I'm gonna use the note repeat function and switch between eighth notes and 16th notes, playing in this hi-hat pattern with this little open hi-hat at the end of each measure. So let's go ahead and record that in. that vibe that sounds good and then i can always place this in the stereo field in a different location because right now the hi-hats are panned over to the right sometimes i like things to be more heavy to the left personally so if i just use the 40 encoder click down i can change this to be over to the left a little bit 
change the open hi-hat too. Okay, so let's keep exploring some more. You could always add this percussion part at the end section too. Let's do that. Right where the collapse are, we can just add that in. Yeah, that fits well. Yeah, that fits in really well. And then just for texturization's sake, let's add something else into the mix. Take a look at some more of the sounds from the Feel It Play Series instrument. Hmm, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. So that has a sequence on it. And if we pull up Feel It Play Series Instrument, we can take a look at the sequence. And what's really nice about all Play Series Instrument is they have this scale key lock here that you can change. So if we put this on D major and lock it to that, everything should stay within D major. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that actually works really well. So let's record that in. Yeah, I like that. That's awesome. Change the level in the mixer. It has a really nice mirrored kind of metallic tone to it that really adds some interest to this idea. I'm actually really satisfied with how that turned out. Sounds so good. And like I said, I don't make house music normally, but that sounds pretty housey to me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's just a quick look at the brand new Higher Place Machine Expansion and Feel It Play Series instrument. If you're into house music at all, or if you like this sound at all that I just kind of came up with on the fly on the spot, there's a ton of unique, bright, melodic sounds that you can get out of these two instruments. Really cool textures with the drums. So it actually might be worth taking a look at even if you don't make house music. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. That's pretty much it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.